in the sum square the pyramid is resting on base edge on hp it is resting on its base edge on hp axis incline at 30 degree to hp and then again axis incline at 60 degree to vp and top of the axis incline at 60 degree to vp if you see this then given it is resting on its base edge so that is first thing right second axis incline at 30 degree to horizontal plane then again they are given axis incline at 60 degree to vertical plane and the case b this is case a and this is case b they are given the top view of the axis incline at 60 degree to vp so we need to remember this so over here they are asking for axis over here they are asking for top view of the axis so first we will start with resting on its base edge and axis incline at 30 degree to hp so if axis incline at 30 degree to hp First, first we will draw axis perpendicular to HP. Draw square in top view and with the resting edge on right hand side. This is A, B, C, D, O, M. A dash, D dash, B dash, C dash, O dash, N dash. So we are done with the first stage. Now the second stage, where axis incline at 30 degree to HP. So we can draw base incline at 60 degree. Then we will take B dash to B dash, C dash to A dash, D dash. We will cut on this side. We will mark M dash. We will draw 30 degree value. Or we can take A dash B dash to O dash, we cut on this side and from here we cut on this side. So we get O dash, this is A dash B dash, this is B dash C dash. After that, we will project B dash B dash, A dash B dash from here and B dash C dash from here. Same way we project A, B and C, D from here. So we will get four points which is A, B, C and D. O dash from here and O from here. So we will get O. Now, observe the scene from top. So boundary line will be done. After that, then also we will see from the top O dash A dash and O dash D dash is dark. So O A and O D will be dark and this point this is axis and B dash C dash will be dotted. When you see when, when observable will see from the top, you can't see B dash C dash, right? So B C will be dotted. Now we will see case A and B. What they are given? That axis is inclined at 60 degree to vertical plane. Now, we will draw 60 degree. Right? I am drawing 60 degree. Now I have to draw axis. So then me, what I have to cut? I have to cut OM or O dash M dash. I have to cut O dash M dash. Why? Because this is axis. And what I have OM is top view of axis. See, if you can recall lines where they are asking axis incline at 60 degree to VP. That means they are asking true length. Axis is true length, right? So that is incline at 60 degree to VP. So that would be which angle? 5. So this is 5. So we have to cut true length on this. And in this two, which one is true length? Axis is true length, right? This is top view of the axis. This is not true length. This is apparent length. So what we need to do? We need to cut O dash M dash. So we we'll take axis in a compass. And from here, let's say we we'll cut axis. So we have cut axis O. But the problem is, see this. We have taken this axis. We have cut here. But the problem is, we have to draw this, right? Because if we draw this only, or if we use this axis, we can't draw this. Because this is what we got when we have tilted this object at 
30 degree to horizontal plane. Now, this is important to us. But what they are given information is vis a vis with phi, and we require theta. So, if you can recall in lines, what we used to do is to draw locus. From M, we will draw locus. And we will take OM and we will cut on this. So, when you cut, it will come straight. See this, I can write this as OM2. See if you can recall. We used to write rule length as 2, right? A, B, 2. So that way over here, I'll write O M2 and this will be O M. See, I will draw locus, I will take O M and I will cut from here. So this is the apparent length which I have cut, right? And I will get straight. Why straight? Because if you remember, theta plus phi is 90 degree. So that time it will give you straight line. So that's why it is straight. Got it? Theta plus theta plus phi is 90. So that's why it is giving you straight line. Now what we have to do? Now we have to draw this again over here. What will we do? We will draw a line. We will take this distance, cut here. Same way we will take this distance and cut half. And again I will take half on both the sides. I will cut on both the sides. And then I will draw. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, and this middle one will be X is that is M O. After this, I will extend from here A and C. I will extend D from here, so this is D dash, C from here, that is C dash, same way. A and B. So A dash from here and B dash from here. Then I'll extend O dash from here and O from here. Again, boundary line would be done. Observer is seen from this direction. So AD is nearer to observer, right? AD is nearer to observer, so A dash, B dash should be dark. After that, O dash, C dash. C, C is away from observer. In fact, O is away from observer. So all the lines passing through O would be dotted. So O to C dash and O to B dash should be dotted. O dash, B dash and O dash, B dash can't be dotted because those are bounded lines. Then we can cut axis also. We can mark axis and dash. So we are done with part A where axis was inclined 60 degree to vertical plane. Now we have to draw top view of the axis which is inclined at 60 degree to vertical plane. So what we will do? Again I will draw 60 degree. Again I will draw 60 degree. I will draw 60 degree. Now they have asked us to draw top view of the axis. Now this is axis and this is top view of the axis. So we have to cut. Now this top view of the axis only inclined at 60 degree. So we will take this OM and we will cut that directly and we will draw this as it is. See in this in this case it was written axis is inclined. This was inclined. So we have to find angle beta on this case. But in this case, they have given already angle beta, which is 60 degree. Your 60 degree is beta. When in previous case, it was 5. So we had to find angle beta. We got angle beta straight 90 degree. But in this case, it's given 60 degree. So what we will do? We will draw this again over here. So we will mark distance. Axis. Then.
and you make it A, B, C, D, and O. After that, we project D from here, and D from here, you get D dash. C from here, C from here, you get C dash. A from here, A from here, B dash. Same with B from here, you get B dash. O from here, and O from here, you get O dash. Now again, now that is C logic, observable is C from down. So this would be down. What we are doing? Extreme boundary would be down. When observable is C from here to A dash, it will be down. So O dash, A dash, A dash, B dash, A dash, B dash, everything will be down. Right? Now, if you think about O dash, C dash, if you see C is away from observer, so O dash, C dash would be dotted and this axis we can take up M dash would be here, so this is 